Hey guys, we're back. So I left off talking about the warranty of the scale. Um, if you want something that measures to two uh, one hundredths of a grain in accuracy and precision, um, this will be the way to go. It's got great reviews, and um, it's 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 unbelievable. So basically, um, if you want to reload, you know and not really be precise like I like I left off um, on the other video the heart of reloading will be your scale and obviously the amount of powder that you know you're gonna have on your case okay if you're reloading for 42 grains and you're re and you're um, like let me show you here see this is a box that I, I'm not done reloading uh, yet okay on this box I put the numbers 1 through uh, 10 and obviously you guys are familiar with this type of boxes they, they got rows of five and that's what I shoot I shoot five shot groups and this is a box that I already have complete this is what I'm gonna be shooting this weekend okay let me see if I get it right there Okay, I, I got it at five thousands off the lands of my precision bench rest rifle, 42 grains of barget powder, and it's got an A all the way to the right, meaning that out of this one and another one that I did like this one, this is the one that has zero basically run out on all these uh, cartridges. So um, basically, I can guarantee you on each and one of those cases they are 42 grains of barget powder. And that's what I'm saying, the heart of it. If you're going for 42 grains of powder and, and you got a scale like, any, like everything that's being offered out there by reloading manufacturers, okay? Um, and they're guaranteeing you one, that, that their product measures minus or plus to one one hundredth of a grain you might very well have, you might be shooting for 42 grains and you might have 41.801. And imagine if you're trying to load those five cases, okay? You're making five cases identical with 42 grains and in two you have 42 grains and one you have 41.8 and on the other one you have 42.1 because of the uh, minus and plus variable. So that's why when you shoot and you want to accomplish all five shots to go inside maybe the size of a nickel or a dime, I like to use those terms. I'm not going to get into the MOA stuff because my rifle shoots less than a, than a, than a, than a one inch uh, or you know half inch, three quarters, whatever you want to, you know, term you, term you want to use. But, um, and you want the consistency of those groups to be constant you need to be sure you have 42 grains if that's what you're loading for so that's what i'm saying the heart of reloading it's going to always uh fall back on the type of scale that you have this scale is the most important thing because the you know uh ignition the pressure everything inside your cartridge is going to depend on the amount of powder that you have and your groups are going to open up or shrink or stay, you know, very consistent if you have the same amount of powder in in those cases. So um, that's why if you really research it, bench rest shooters um, that they compete, you know, whatever yardage, you're going to notice that their main equipment that they they you know either pay the most for it or or, or they pay the most attention to is their scale and the precision that it'll weigh to all right so right now um this scale right here it's already calibrated and everything so what i did was remember this um weights that they uh, rcbs lineman um uh, hornady uh, they send you these are not certified weights by any means okay that's why if you shake them that's why it's good man, this one's a little bit dirty that's why um, it's good 
to um, to um, if you grab one and you shake it near your ear you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear the internals of it okay because these are not certified uh, weight well what do I mean by certified weight okay uh, meaning that if, if it if they send you this weight anything they print on it uh, like this one 20 grams uh, it might be like a couple thousands off and we'll, we'll see it now um, uh, as a matter of fact um, these at least on the gem pro it's picking it up as 20 grams but there's times I don't know if it's when the internals because if you can shake it on your ear you'll hear it I don't know depending on, on, on the internals or whatever of the actual weight um, it might read like if it's 20 gram it'll read like 19.99999 or or, or 19.988 or like that uh, at times you know it'll it'll give me 20 uh, grams but again all these uh, uh, weights are not certified if you want to buy a certified weight meaning that is certified from the manufacturer that did it that it has been the mold that you know they did it on and all that and, and the machinery that the, or the, the scale they're weighing it on is so precise they are certifying it and guaranteeing it that if it's 20 grams it weights that I mean that you have whether you have to believe them or not or you know I mean that's up to to you but I can guarantee you that all these little uh, weights that come with this you know uh, scales that they they sell you they're they're not uh, certified i mean wherever you buy a scale um they're gonna they, you can always buy a certified weight in whatever uh you know uh grams you want it uh but these by any means this is a, the 20 let me show it to you guys the 20 and the 30 that comes with the rcbs range master 750 um, they're pretty close, you know, I'm not going to, uh, you know, degrade them. I bought a, from the people that I purchased the scale, I bought a, a 50 gram scale. See how it's got the white thing underneath? That's how they fill it up inside to give you the weight. If you shake it, you're going to hear it. And this is the one that comes with the Gem Pro 250. It's a, also a 20 gram scale. Now, if you go ahead and you convert, okay, where I purchased the scale, they have a nice little separate page that is a converter uh, little program there that you can go and you can put whatever grains, like let's say, um, and it'll tell you how many uh, grams equals to, or vice versa. Like if you have a 20 gram, a 20 gram weight, it'll tell you on it'll convert it for you as far as grains so you can convert 20 grams to uh, the equal amount of grain that 20 grams will give you on that uh, converting uh, system uh, I believe 20 grams equals to 308.69 and it's got a bunch of little numbers afterwards and zeros but it's pretty much 308 point uh, six nines gra uh, grains that's what 20 grams equal to 308.69 now again when I weight this uh, weight on my scale being that it's maybe it's not a certified weight it, it doesn't give me 308.69 it always gives me 308.65 and I've tried it with this 20 gram uh, weight and the 20 gram weight that came with my range master 750 from RCBS and they both give me the same 308.65 instead of 308.69 so basically that's what I look for okay I know that you know they're not certified weight so um, that's what my skill is weighing it at so I know that when I put it on there if it gives me that number 308.65 I know it's right on the money let me weigh the other one and see if it gives me the same there we go the same one 
308.65 that's the 20 gram uh, weight that the scale came with and this is the one from RCVS the Range Master 750 uh, the 20 gram weight that it came with same thing it gives me 308.65 so what I do after maybe I do like five uh, charges you know after I charge up like five cases of 42 grains of bar get once I have my dish empty like that I'll just grab the 20 gram weight and I throw it in there okay if it gives me 308.65 I know my scale is still calibrated and I don't have to uh, recalibrate it okay and then when I take it off it should zero out uh, again if you have your AC I mean this thing is so sensitive that if you actually uh, you know at one point before I started this video I came here let me see if it does it again I put my hand over it and it actually lit up I don't know if it was the, my hands that had static um, but it, it, it really I was really amazed by how um, maybe whatever I was doing I had static in my hands because it's very sensitive to static too and I, I just went like this with my hand on it and the freaking display turned red. You know, like, like I, I couldn't believe it. So basically, it's got to stay at zero. And again, once in a while, you throw your 20 gram uh, weight on it and it should go to 308.65. Actually, the converting amount should be 308.69. But on this one, not a certified scale uh, weight it's six five at the end so I know that's what I'm looking for okay so basically uh, it comes with this pair of tweezers and I got my um, powder dispensers set up that it'll throw me like around 41.80 41.90 grains uh, obviously Bargette is a extruded, extruded powder which is what we call the little stick powder and by throwing me 41.80, 85, 41.90, um, I come with the tweezers. If, I, if I'm too far, I'll use the trickler. Um, and if not, I'll just get the tweezers and add one little stick at a time to get it to where I want. So let's come back and let's do some actual uh, weighing.